And your winner for this week, the most important thing in the world, Kanye. Just like I'd hoped, wished, and fantasized. Lover or hater, we've had a lot of Taylor Swift ram, ram down our throats recently. I was worried that I was going to fall asleep. But yeah, Jalen Brown is a whole different level altogether. All right, we played your game. We get raises. Is there anything more awkward than when someone goes, oh my God, are you like into Queen Bay? Um, because we have to figure out the B that we will what? Usher was like, hey, Lil John, what the hell, bro? What happened to my song? Peter Bartholomew Rosenberg. I would be grateful to be dead at that concert. It's the worst story you've ever told. And she's doing an impression of Taylor Swift watching any play in football. What? 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 What happened? All due respect to DeAndre Jordan, and I mean all due respect. I'm terrified. That be. All right, no, you know what? I'm reading it. Cut, change the camera to me. I wish I could show myself out right now. I want to go to sleep, bro. From Wondery, I'm Michelle Beadle. And I'm Peter Rosenberg. And this is Over the Top. Here's how the show works, everyone. The best stories of the week in sports and pop culture face off to crown a champion and answer the simple question. What is the undisputed most important thing on planet Earth this week? We're going to decide this the only way we know how using Royal Rumble rules. We'll start with two stories and decide which one is worthy to discuss and which one has to go. After 90 seconds, a new story will be introduced and we'll have to decide whether we want to keep talking about our current story or switch to the new one. Now, we don't know the order of the stories coming our way, but we do decide which ones get thrown over the top rope. Let me set you up, Beetle, with our first two stories of the day. The Super Bowl. It's been a few days. The dust has settled. Are the Chiefs officially a dynasty after winning their third Super Bowl in the Mahomes era? Their second back-to-back -back and... Mahomes is now in Montana and Brady company after taking home his third Super Bowl MVP. The other story, starting off in the squared circle, well, Super Bowl is come and gone. Football is over. The big <laughs> question, now what the F are we supposed to do? Do you want oh, to talk no. about what was or what will be? Look, we, we have lots of time to talk about what will be um, because we have to figure out the B that we will what. So... For that, I send you a over the top. You see what I did there? Just words, Yoda, things like that. This is our one and only shot to talk about it, Peter. And first half, I was worried that I was going to fall asleep. Second half, I did not have those fears. Did it end the way I wanted it to? Not necessarily. Was it exciting? Yes. Were the commercials meh with the exception of a couple? Mm-hmm. Halftime? I'm all good. I'm good with halftime. I feel like I that's my synopsis of the Super Bowl. I think it, it was not a shocker how it ended. Put it that way. Um, really well said uh, on all counts. We're, we're in lockstep on most things. Also, if you're like 99% of you are just listening to this podcast, so you should know. Beetle is, <laughs> I wouldn't say she looks sick, though maybe sick. eyes slightly red. But what's Ghost. really what it's really about is not only her voice quality, but the fact that she's wearing an original vintage Garfield I Hate Mondays crew neck sweatshirt. My guess is, and I'm in, I'm into vintage. This is like 87. This is a prime era Garfield I piece. I have to figure out where the heck this even came from. But yeah, it's it's the perfect shirt for when you don't feel great. It really it's, it's, is. Oh, and by the <laughs> way, I'm a, I'm a huge Garfield guy. So it's, it's resonating with me. Um, Yeah, I agree. So. The Super Bowl was very, very good. I mean, yep. how can you complain about the second overtime Super Bowl in history? Um, the rule that was created to change overtime because Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen a few years ago comes back into play a couple years later. Uh, halftime was great. Mahomes was great. Oh, you know, Purdy, what, Purdy was what Purdy was. Like the game kind of played out with the exception of maybe the fumbles. Yeah. You know, the, the, the McCaffrey fumble and, and the muffed punt by San Francisco. The, oh, the Greenlaw injury just coming into the game. Yeah, that the freakish Greenlaw injury. With with those exceptions, it kind of played out how you expected. Really good defense. And in the end, Patrick Mahomes being Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, it's him. It's everything we said. It's him. He's him. He's him. Our next challenger. Queen B is back, baby. Super Bowl commercial announcing 
that her new album, Renaissance 2, is coming out March 29th. She dropped two tracks early. There are rumors of her being the first artist to get a residency at that sphere in Las Vegas. We want to continue to talk about the Super Bowl or switch to Queen B. Uh, I got to tell you, I think I got to make the switch to Queen B. Okay, I want to hear it. You literally talked about the Super Bowl so much, your voice no longer works. I'm over I- it. I'm on the next. <laughs> All right, Super Bowl, you were fun, but you can't compete with the queen. To the left, to the left, and over the top, you go. I was surprised by this. Okay. Um, I did not. I knew Act 2 would come at some point. I didn't expect it this soon. And maybe it's just the fact that, like, you know, lover or hater, we've had a lot of Taylor Swift ram, ram down our throats recently. Yes, so, have. like, I'm ready for some Beyonce. Also, was there a little... I'm reaching here. I'm being no, that maybe guy. Not. Maybe not. But 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 subtle shade when you think about the the old school. Even though Beyonce and Taylor are totally cool. But yeah. remember back in the day, the whole Kanye controversy was because That's Taylor right. won the VMA and Beyonce didn't win. Now Taylor's kind of owning the Super Bowl. Uh, 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 not so fast. How about yeah. Beyonce announces her new music? And guess what? It's country. Yeah, okay, that's my one question. I saw the image. It was a beautiful photograph and like a sexy country girl outfit. I don't even know what to call it, cowgirl. Is it actually country music is coming on this album? Like, I'm yes. confused. Yes, the the, the the song Texas Hold'em that she put out already, both of them, they're both, you know. Like actual country. I mean, listen, it, will they sound like, it, they're not Johnny Cash records. They're not. okay. It's not exactly like a Jelly Roll record necessarily, <laughs> or a, but I guess it's closer to Jelly Roll certainly than Johnny Cash. Um, I know, you know who listen, it is now, by the way. You, you, well, he got a he got a Super Bowl. He got in a commercial I with know. Jennifer Aniston. I know a lot of people in those commercials. So I hope we get to talk about that, by the way. Yeah, okay. me too. Um, so yes, it is definitely going to be wow. country in feel, and and honestly, the thing I'm most psyched about is the Sphere situation. Oh, for I, sure. I hope we get to talk about it more, but now our, here's our next topic, because okay. I have more to say about that. But buried in the hype of the Super Bowl, the NBA trade deadline came and went quietly. All mm-hmm. right. There were not any big splash trades. But is it possible that a few teams might have sneakily gotten better? Can I just answer yes. by saying, well, yeah, of course. Yes. That yeah. is what happens in these situations. A boring trade deadline. A couple of teams sneakily get better. Knicks got better. What else? That's why I'm, I, I think we throw this over the top and I'm stay fine with, with that. Let's stay with Queen B. I mean, yeah. all right, Bogey and Hayward and Healed. Oh, I'm boring myself. Trade deadline. You're going over the top. So I had an opportunity okay. last summer to attend the Renaissance tour. Okay. And I Hold just on, had a. Wait. What did you wear? I didn't wear anything because I didn't go. Oh, my God. It's the worst story you've ever told. And my wife instead brought a friend who got my ticket. I had a bunch of things going on, and it was just a pain in the ass logistically. Then I spent a lot of time looking at other dates in different cities to be like, maybe we'll go in Atlanta or maybe we'll go in New Orleans. Maybe we'll go. And it just never happened. And the tour ended and the way people raved about it. it yeah. I, I'm very retroactively obsessed with my like uh, the fact that as kids, you and I got to live through the madness that was like Michael Jackson thriller era, like that experience. And I'm not saying this is that, but it's the closest thing that we'll probably ever have. Okay. And I got and I got very upset that I like didn't take that opportunity to see her when she is in her prime on the tour that everyone's saying was like the one so i've seen her before i went to on the run it was cool but i i wasn't i i didn't even fully give it the attention that it deserved so honestly beyonce at the sphere yes please it looks amazing but i have no interest in you too i'm sorry i didn't go to you too even though a lot of people that were there for super bowl radio road did um i think i would take a dramamine before i go into the sphere because there is something to be said for the elevation and we know you struggle. You know, yeah, we, I'm you just, uh, I'm turning into a nightmare of a human being. <laughs> All right. Up next, <laughs> Chip Kelly. It, this one, I, okay. Chip Kelly's leaving his head coaching gig at UCLA to be the offensive coordinator at Ohio State. Do we want to continue to talk about Beyonce and all of the news that she brought for us during the Super Bowl or switch to this weird move by Chip Kelly? 
Well, this puts me in an awkward situation because yes, we, we lift up the curtain here on on Over the Top. That's yes, what me and Beetle are. We're authentic human beings. Our super producer, Andrew Goldstein, <laughs> specifically referenced this story he in telling us like, hey, you know, sometimes if you're not that interested in a topic, maybe go a little deeper and take a look at what's underneath because there may be something there. And he used this as the example. And yep. now yep. here it is, Beetle, but it's up again. The idea of kind of speeding the end of the Beyonce subject, like the queen is back, <laughs> but let's hustle and get it done so we can talk about Chip Kelly at Ohio State. I, mean, I, I, can't. I can't make the call. If you, I can't do it. I can't make the call. So you're going from Southern California head coaching job to Columbus, Ohio mm -hmm. offensive coordinator job. Correct. But it's you know, Ohio State. Still, right. it's still a weird move down. It's 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 a it's a weird move, and ultimately, like when I think of Chip Kelly, I will always think of him be, <laughs> just being such a fraud and loser in Philly. And over the top, you go, my friend. Pew pew pew. <laughs> You're out of here. Back to the B. Is there anything more awkward than when someone goes, "Oh my God, are you like into Queen Bay?" That's a that happens. Sometimes. Do people say Bay? They they say I probably would have said Bay had I not just thought B in my mind. What is it, Bay? But that doesn't make sense because it's not Beyonce. Thank you. Her name's not Beyonce. So why are you reading the B E Y like so literal? Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to make the mistake if she's at the sphere. I'm going to pull strings. I'm going to spend money. I'm going to do what it is. I was in Vegas for the opening weekend of the sphere, and Ooh. we almost went. And I just couldn't push myself to go to a U2 concert because I just didn't think. I, I mean, care enough about the music. I, like I love with or without music. you. Yeah, I like. I feel it, it's just really. It all depends on what era of U two we're getting. If it's like nineties, early two thousands, maybe late eighties, I'm probably okay. Although um, I heard, I heard McAfee and friends talking about their experience at the concert, and they said that even the U two fans among them were like, "We don't know most of these songs." Oh, like they kind of went rogue. That's not a good thing to hear. Is it? No, I don't want to hear that. I did see some uh, signs for, I think, The Dead, the version of The Dead that now tours, is going to do like a two-week stint in the sphere. Which can't is, do that either. That's excruciating. That's like 20-minute songs for days on end for one show. Yeah, no, I, it would make me, I would be grateful to be dead at that concert. Do you see what I'm saying? Nailed I'm it. good. <laughs> Clip. I don't want to see... <laughs> I don't want to see the Grateful Dead. I don't want to see you two, but Beyonce on all those screens. Yeah, that would be kind of, that'd be something. That would it be looks, like. It looks pretty, it looks pretty dope. Yeah. All right. With the football season on ice, yeah. does that mean we're saying goodbye to all the Lorvis content we have every week? I think it does, which means I think we have to say goodbye to the true queen and say hello to the imposter queen. I mean. Do we think it's goodbye, Lorvis, or do we think it's hello, summertime, international tour, Lorvis? International Torvis is what you're saying. Okay, I am. I wish I could show myself out right now. All right, Queen Bee, we love you. We will see you at the Sphere. But right now, you're going over the top rope. I think we will not hear that much about Lorvis for the coming months. My guess is... Really? My guess is well, there'll be little stories like he pops up at the show in New Delhi and he pops up here and then blah, blah, blah. And then we'll get the engagement news. Oh, I thought you were going to break up. Okay. We went to. Oh, you want to break up? No. I, engagement first. Engagement first. Eng oh, yeah, that, dude, that works better. Although, so, you know, he, Marcus Jordan and Larsa Pippen broke up this week. So anything can oh, happen. If those two kids can't make it in this crazy world, who can? <laughs> Engage. Do we really think engagement for them? Is that the next step? And by the way, I do fluctuate with this so much. It's my emotions are on a roller coaster all by themselves. Like them singing to her songs in the club. I, I just if it wasn't for Jason Kelsey in a in a luchador mask, I don't know that I could have lived through all these clips. Here's the way I look at it. <laughs> you pl you played in the Super Bowl last year. That's true. You lost to the Chiefs. That happened. All right, you're here now and you're going to root for your brother. Ew. Cool, I support that. Do you have to wear Chiefs overalls? Like, it just feels like, I get it. But if I'm an Eagles fan, I'd, I'd be like, bruh. But again, it's just, I would do it for my brother. Put it that way. Anyways, I think we'll get a little break from Lorvis. And I am frankly excited about that. By the way, this is in breaking news as we're doing the show. Larsa Pippen is now dating Glenn Kukoc. 
Tony Kukoc's middle child. This is going to be amazing. I thought that yeah. was real. I got excited. You're an idiot. We're you were like, Glenn I really was like, what? His name's Glenn? His middle child is Glenn? <laughs> yes. We're halfway through the show uh, right now. Rightfully so. The most important topic of the day is the end of Lorvis. Question mark. Taylor. We'll right. Travis. Yeah, we have, to, we have to tell him. We'll be back. Welcome back to Over the Top. Beetle, what yes. is our next challenger? Well, I'm glad you asked, Peter Rosenberg, because up next, ba -ba -ba, this past week was the 20th wow, anniversary of Ye's debut album, College Dropout. Kanye's been through the ringer recently, but now he has new music coming, and he's trying to apologize for past comments. Do we want to continue talking about the Lorvis goodbye, maybe? Or... Switch to Kanye. I think we've said all there is to say about Taylor and Travis. He has it. So, yeah, I get it. Taylor and Travis, over the top you go. Let's Happy talk summer. about this. Kanye, 20th anniversary of college dropout. That is interesting. It makes me feel old. So old. Uh, the, the album is out. It came out uh, Saturday, the other wow. day. Can't believe I missed that. Um, it, it has actually some pretty good stuff on it. I would say I heard at least a handful of songs that I enjoyed musically for sure. Okay. I struggle with the constant anti-Semitism. I don't know what it is. It's just something weird like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. So I, I, I haven't caught any real apologies. He does. Obviously, there was, there was the fake apology that he didn't like, you know, like chat GPT. I don't even understand that. It was so bad. And then he has, but like on the first song on the album. He like he's like I keep Jews in my circle now, like right out of like right out of the gate, and then like moments later he does another one, and I'm like, I get it. Now it's just like part of your brand to like f continue this troll. Like it's, so, then it's, who is he uh, allegedly trying to apologize to? He's or not apologizing to anyone. There, I, I haven't I haven't caught any real apology. I, I don't even think that's a real thing. Can I just can <clears throat> just say this? And maybe it's not a healthy way to look at humans. But I have reached the point where there are 8 billion people on the planet. I'm good without ever hearing from Kanye West and that wife person that he carries around as well in his pocket. I'm good. I never have to hear another thing about him, from him, around him, near him. He's weird. I don't get it. I'm sad for him. Clearly something's broken. And that's all I got. I, I think that's a reasonable view. Oh. I struggle with it because I have I had such fondness for his music. God, yeah. But like, <clears throat> he's been showing me, like, it's so strange though that I still care. That's what's so like borderline he's obsessive and crazy. That. He is counting on that. But like, I've had personal interactions with him that weren't great. Uh, he's had relationships with my friends that weren't great. Oh dear. He's he's uh just saying horrible things about. My religion. It's like, how many things do I need? That's what I'm saying. It's Eight so billion pathetic. People, Peter. Somebody else is making great music. We'll I know. Go to that Me person. Meanwhile, I'm like, yeah, but this album has like three pretty good songs on it. Like, I need these. I mean, it's so nope. weird. Like, uh, there are like Beatles albums I haven't listened to yet. Like, I've, I've never listened to a Rolling Stones album cover to cover. I've never, there's a lot to do in this world right. that I haven't done. Yeah, maybe, not, that, maybe we take the Kanye time that we allotted and we... Turn it over to something else. Now it'll be hilarious if we stick with Kanye and throw whatever else comes the, the over the top. The whole rest of the show. <laughs> no. All right. And your winner for this week, the most important thing in the world, Kanye. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I hope not. Ugh. Jalen Brown is bringing prestige to the slam dunk contest. Okay. The first all-star to compete since DeAndre Jordan in 2017. And by the way, all due respect to DeAndre Jordan. I, I mean, know all due respect. Thinking. But I yeah, Jalen Brown is a whole different level altogether. So do we want to talk about yay? Or do no. we want to say yay and throw him over the top? I really, he makes me sad to talk about him. I don't want to talk about Kanye West anymore. I just don't. <laughs> and what's, why is she wearing masks everywhere? This wife person. What, what is that about? Oh, do you what want, I, I can tell you. I can tell you. What? What I'm saying is not a fact. Okay. But I feel very confident in, okay. in this. He dictates everything she does. That sounds lovely. Truly. He, she, she, he is picking clothes. He is picking masks. He is oh, picking yes. all of it. 
He, and this. It's lovely. It's romantic. It'll be. I look forward to her book, although she probably signed an NDA. Either way. She definitely did. Yay. You're over the top. Get up. Let's talk Jalen Brown. Yeah, my yeah. guy. My guy is in the dunk contest. Yes. Super duper cool. I mean, something needed to save the dunk contest, Beetle. Yep. yep. Um, I, I've been a big proponent of like, let legends be in it. Let yep. college players be in it. Let street ball players, like whatever you can do, like what they're doing with, with Sabrina and yes. Steph in the three point shoot, whatever you got to do to spice it up, do it. But you know what? Good first start. Get someone great in it. So kudos to Jalen Brown for being willing because to not be too cool for the dunk contest. So I have a couple follow-up questions because A, I was pleasantly surprised when the All-Stars name was Jalen Brown. Would not have guessed that he'd be the one to come forward first to enter the slam dunk contest. So that was like a, ooh, okay. Now let me ask you, if he is to lose the slam dunk contest, do we think that any step forward to get more All-Stars next season will be squashed or do we think this is enough to get more and more and more? That's a really interesting question. <laughs> like, does it all go out the window? If Mac McClung crushes him. The great Mac McClung. I, yes. Um, I think it depends how he looks, Jalen okay. that is. And like, if it appears like it's fun and if he tells people that it's fun. Like, honestly, I sort of feel like it's all in how it feels. Oh. But like, you could not, I know this is like sad and makes me, you couldn't have gotten me to remember Mac McClung's name. Peter Bartholomew Rosenberg. He is our current reigning slam dunk champion. I know. How dare you? I know. I know. And by the way, I am changing my middle name <laughs> from Elliot to Bartholomew. Obviously. Because have <laughs> I have to now because that sounded amazing. But yeah, obviously, you'd like to have memorable players be in the dunk yes. contest. And this goes back. This household. goes back a long time. This is yeah, like we need household names, man. We need people who we are turning on the games to watch. That's but by the way, I just want to point this out, though. People like us have been begging for this yes. for 30 some years. Yeah. I mean, all due respect. I ran out and got the, the the pumps as soon as I could. Oh. D Brown was not a notable Celtic. Like no. he was a, at the time, not notable at all to f fans around the league. Yep. Kenny Skywalker, like these were not big time in-game studs. So this problem has been around forever, but guess what? Now we're also out of cool dunks. So <laughs> we need cool players. Now. now the name, we need the sexy names back for it to even out. All right, up next, at the media kickoff for WrestleMania 40 last weekend, you know, in Las Vegas, where everything else was, uh, The Rock turned heel, slapped Cody Rhodes in the face after it was announced that Cody, not The Rock, would be facing Roman Reigns for the Universal title. They're just jacking with our emotions. Do we want to continue talking about Jalen Brown and All-Stars coming back to the slam dunk contest or this moment in WWE history? I mean, listen, I love the Celtics and I love WWE, but I love WWE more. And uh, Jalen, <laughs> see yourself over the top rope and all the way up to the rim. Win that dunk contest. Best of luck, friend. But let's talk about this moment. First of all, Beetle, did you consider going to the event last Thursday? No, um, because I can't do one mile per 42 minutes in a cab. I, I limited myself to doing nothing. <laughs> Thank you. So it was just if you couldn't walk next door to something, exactly. you, were, you were out. Yeah, I am not. I am not for this world. I am just not. But when I saw what was happening, I was like, WWE never misses. They never miss. They're really, they're in a good spot right now, man. I, I, I That event was, to me, over the moon awesome. <laughs> it felt so big and important. And, and it, Listen, it's free tickets, right? But yes. it's a full arena. So you have a full arena for a press kickoff. And then The Rock, you know, listen, I don't know how long the WWE has known what they were going to do. I think they pivoted. I really? love that they. Oh yeah, I think this was not the plan. You thought you thought the original plan was the Rock, and then people got mad. <gasps> but that's still so weird because why would Cody win the Rumble? Exactly. Th that that makes you think that they were like so deep ahead. Like, were they deep enough into it? They went, no. Here's what we're gonna do. Cody's gonna win the Rumble. We're gonna give it to the Rock anyway. Then the crowd's gonna turn on the Rock. If they thought of that far ahead, then I mean, my mind is even more blown. But the Rock's returns recently have been cool, but sort of like 
expected. Yeah. He hasn't been a bad guy for 21 years. It's this is so going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm so in. Hey, there, and by the way, there's so many possibilities. Uh, if we talk more about it, I'll tell you some of my other thoughts. There's a lot there. Uh, but up next, next topic on the docket, Valentine's Day is here. Beatles, a big Valentine's girl. Whether you celebrate willingly, begrudgingly, or skip it all together, like we did with Christmas, we do have a game to play. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The okay. over-the-top holiday name game, Valentine's Day edition. Oh, no, we sucked at the last one. We really did. <laughs> uh, do you want to play the name game? You're a newlywed. I mean, I feel like Valentine's Day is a much bigger deal in your planetary orbit these days. Yeah, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I, I already, you know, I made sure that I handled my biz. I'm terrified that means let's play the game our producers created it we You're have right. to do let's it let's do it okay well, i mean cheat, so either way over the top you go rocky i'll see you at wrestlemania uh pete rose that was the name my parents wanted me to have when they thought i should change my name uh Derek rose jalen rose thug rose nama <laughs> uh kevin love oh duh kevin love uh jordan love josh hart isaiah hartenstein you know what i'll accept it yeah, that's a pretty good one. I feel like we're missing some obvious ones. Zay Flowers. Aww. Which doesn't even sound like a real name. That's so perfect. Bob Huggins. Okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, let's just, don't skip the classic. Greg the Hammer Valentine. I mean. Right? Do we do like Bobby Valentine? Go ahead and throw that in there. Of course. Yeah, I'll be, if we, should, we, if we didn't want to do the obvious, we don't want to insult the audience. And whoever is trying to get any one of us to say Michael Olawa Candy, I, I will mean, not. <laughs> By the way, that is that had to be a Goldstein that's a good production. Just, Michael Olawa Candy is yep, insane. Yep, that's, I just think of the suit on draft night. That's all I got there. <laughs> all right, we played your game. We get raises. Up next, lace up those skates. You knew it was coming. Usher Super Bowl halftime performance. Still, right, let me just stop you real quick before you What's finish. That? Sorry, Valentine's Day. We will not be talking about you any further. Over the top, you go. Oh, good. So I'll just I'll just remind everyone if if you didn't pay attention, we'll shame on you. But Lil John was there, Ludacris was there, Alicia Keys, her, Jermaine Dupree, and just like I had hoped, wished, and fantasized, there was roller skating, Peter. That's right. That's Damn right. Damn right that, there was. I had a couple of friends over. It was very, very uh loved in the house. Yep. Um I mean, a lot of question marks around um Jermaine Dupree's outfit. I thought it was Rev Run in a summer getup. My co-host uh, on the morning show, Laura Stiles, thought it was CeeLo Green. Also acceptable. Not what you're looking for if you're Jermaine Dupree. <laughs> I don't know why he just decided to dress like a schoolgirl. I mean, I used to rock those little lacy white socks with uh, that was just because it was the ZZ Top legs video that brought that thing into style. <laughs> He he tried to like make it better and he had a good sense of humor about it, but he put up a post after the Super Bowl, like the next day, and was like, Hey, see everybody's been talking ish. And then he posted a picture of the socks, and they're like some Louis Vuitton Pharrell socks with like pockets attached to the sock. That doesn't make it better. Now it just makes them expensive. Yeah, bro, because the problem isn't the socks. The problem is the shorts, the socks, and the shoes. It, it was, was the like combo. Pilgrim from the waist down, like baby pilgrim. From the yeah, waist down. <laughs> baby pilgrim. I, I my favorite tweet of the day was something like, "He's just a lad who likes his I'm strawberries." Just something a like lad. that. Lad, lad is um, perfect. He, he, it was so weird. Um, I don't care how expensive the socks were. You cannot wear white socks and shoes are bad enough. Like white socks and, and hard bottom shoes. Yeah, yeah. But with shorts, Oof. it's you're you're trying, so it doesn't work. Anyways. Usher was awesome. And, and and I don't know who did the musical direction on my other podcast. Uh, one of my 90 other broadcasts that I do per week. Yeah. My, my co-host Cypher Sounds on one app, who's a, a DJ and knows a lot about these things, told me I did not notice that when they got to Lud Ludacris's verse on Yeah, they switched the beat to PD Pablo freak a leak. Yeah. Right. But what you don't realize is the reason they did that freak -a leak was originally the beat to yeah my mind exploded really so freak -a leak beat was yeah usher had the beat and pd pablo had the beat the problem is pd pablo's version got out and started getting played oh. usher was like hey little john 
what the hell, bro? What happened to my song? Lil John's like, chill. Don't worry about it. I got you. Takes the yeah. same drum, same tempo, same sounds, and just makes a totally different and even more awesome song. And yeah, so like that was like a little tidbit. Like they did really cool things huh. within the performance. I dug it. I dug the whole thing. I thought Alicia Keys was awesome. Yep. She looked great. Yep. Loved They're it. Professionals. I loved every song. I it's loved of, his sparkly gloves. Those were sparkly and fun. Yeah, and you notice that he had, he started out with two gloves. I rewatched it. He started with two, and then he uh -huh. went to one. He went he full one. MJ, like, tribute. It must have been with the one glove sparkly. You, you can't, I mean. So much homage. -ish -ish. There was so a lot much. of um, homaging. Yeah, I like that. I like All that. Right. Kudos. Here we go. Coming in hot. Mm. Two teams that we wrote off early this season are hot. The Cavs Ooh, and yeah. the Clippers yeah. among the hottest in the league as we head to the All-Star break. Do you want to talk more about Ursher? Oh, man. Or do you want to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers? I mean, that's just, when you put it like that. That's I know. That's why I did it like that, to make it hard. I think the Cavs are going to stay hot. I really do. I think there's going to be, and I definitely think the Clippers are going to stay hot. I think we'll be able to continue this conversation because what is there to say? They're hot. They're on a, on a nice little run. They're, they're having fun. They look like they like each other. But we only get one Super Bowl performance per year. That's right. And we're going to milk it. So, I agree. Gentlemen, we will get back to you. Have a great All-Star weekend. And by the way, if the if the NBA Finals ends up being the Cavs and the Clippers, whoa, but, phew, that would be something. You heard it here first. We still have so much time to talk NBA. So, boys, you're going over the top. Overall, where would you put this usher Oh, see, that's tough. That is tough. So because I like the music, like I like those songs, I probably liked it more than other people because I have heard this and tell me if you have as well. I have heard people just be like, eh. And then I have also found out that some people don't know about Usher's uh, roller skating prowess. And so they were just thrown off by the roller skating in general. And I was like, I've been sending people videos so they could know what he does, but... It doesn't seem to be swaying anyone, Peter. So I don't know what to tell people. They didn't love it. Yeah, me neither. And if you look back at, at the past, I believe last night was better than Rihanna the year before. Okay. Um, and I love Riri, but she just she didn't have any special guests. She And Rihanna, Rihanna's not like a dancer in that way. So yeah, I just think right. this was a better show. Um, the year before that was the Eminem, Which Dr. Is, I, Dre. I love that one. That one was a lot of fun. So yep. I put that. I think Usher was a better performer than anyone at that show. Sure. But that was a really good show, period. Before that, it was The weekend. He was better than The weekend, in my opinion. Uh, before that was Shakira, J-Lo, like that I, whole hodgepodge. Mm -hmm. I like him Be better than that. Better than that. Yeah. Before that, it was Maroon 5. Uh, stop. Travis Scott. Hold on, your favorite. And somehow Big Boy got tossed in there as well. So now next year's New Orleans. A uh, lot of possibilities for New Orleans next year. I mean, well, it doesn't have to make sense. And I realized over the weekend we have not had a Foo Fighters halftime. So, so you're uh, you're calling it right now next year, Foo yep. Fighters and Lil Wayne. How about that? Because <laughs> yes. they won't give they won't give Wayne his own. He no. would have to he would have to get a shared one. And Foo Fighters, like, they have enough. They have enough of a catalog. They will rock out live. We all know that. I mean, the sad part is obviously with the drummer having died, it's not, it's just, it's a bummer, but it'll be emotional. Yeah. And they'll have a moment. They'll play like, yeah. there goes my hero and we'll all cry. I hate right. it. Holy like crap. We did it. 90 seconds, which means we've come to a decision. I, this is perfect. You could not have plotted it better. The By new the way, undisputed, what, <laughs> what happened? Beetle. Well, just Beetle feels like shit, and I've never seen her happier that the show's over. I mean, she's <laughs> practically jumping up and down. She cannot wait to kick up, kick back and do something that is well, not talk. You know what? When you feel crappy, the highlight of the day is when you switch from the day quills to the night quills, the orange to the green, baby. It's time uh, and to by get the way, crazy. you know what's so you know what's so messed up? What? Why do the, why do the packages have so much more orange than green, dude? You're Thank always you. out of green, and you're Thank stuck you. with the damn orange. I want to go to sleep, bro. Yeah, I don't need to stay up all day. Okay, that's not what we're here to do. We want to sleep and feel better. But I feel great because Usher halftime Super Bowl. That was the most important thing on planet Earth this week. We nailed it. We nailed I know. It. We normally they say we were supposed to go. Do you think we got it right? We know we got it right. Yeah, I don't ask questions. I know the answers to. Yeah, uh, it was awesome. <laughs> that's going to do it for us. Tune in next week to determine 
the only thing you need to care about and what goes over the top. Stay